only the first day of the Slovenia. Maybe I thought I could do it, and I can't. Finally going down the hill and the mood has changed so much that I'm just like smiling, singing. Yeah, I think I'm a bit bipolar. Life is beautiful again. Where are we? The cave. The cave we manage. Look, they've given us uh, a locker key. And we've got our stuff here, parts on the bike. And now we're gonna go to the viewpoint. And we're gonna do a guided tour. Well, we're definitely gonna eat something before. <laughs> How are you feeling, by the way? Ah, now I feel better, but uh, it was tough. Really tough. Yeah? How are your legs? My butt is worse. Feeling, by the way. Ah, now I feel better, but uh. Yeah. But uh. Last video you said that you wouldn't make it. What you say now? I made it to here. I said I, I wouldn't make it to the whole thing. I still don't know. My problems are the heels. Cause like if it's flat, seriously, I can go on like forever. But here you just go up, 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 and it's endless. And then you think it's over, but then you turn, and then you see more road like this, and you're like, no! It's terrible. That's life. Hmm. But I'm sure it'll be a beautiful, beautiful cave. Nature wise, looks amazing. They have even those small animals but I think there are maybe five inside the cave only. Baby dragons. <laughs> Baby dragons. They are called Ohms and people used to think they were baby dragons. So I'm excited. Could you imagine if we see one? Oh. Then we went inside to visit the cave. Scotian cave is amazing. We loved the wildness of it and the way they wanted to preserve it. So no photos or videos are allowed in there. But thanks to the management, we were given the material to show you here. After visiting the cave for an hour and a half, we quickly got on our bikes again and cycled as far as we could to get as near as possible to Postoina, where we would visit a much larger cave and a mysterious castle. The night camping by the road was fine, we had no problems whatsoever. We just wanted to get to Postoina and get over with those uphills, as the guys from biking and hiking will pick us up the day after to take us to the other side of the country, Maribor. The way to Postoina was easy, thank god for that, and we arrived over there just a couple of hours later.
after the cave, we had to cycle about 7 kilometers to go to Pregiama Castle, which literally means the castle in front of the cave. We'll understand why now. It is important to know that if you're not cycling or driving, you might have problems going to the castle because off-season there aren't many buses and hitchhike is not really easy, we heard. But going to the castle is definitely a must. Seriously, so we started in the cave, in the Postojna cave, and now we are here in this castle, which is part of the, the complex of the cave, and it's incredible. I've never seen anything like that before. Like the castle is so preserved, it's inside the rock, so it's inside the grotto actually. You don't know where is the castle, where is the grotto. Here, where we are now, is obviously the grotto, but you still have some constructions, some man made constructions. and. Um, the below parts, like is, is actual like rooms and kitchen and toilets, is just insane. The whole thing, like you really feel you're back at the time because they explain you during the whole way you're walking around the castle in this lab, um, this maze kind of thing, and uh, it's insane. Seriously, it's so incredible that someone thought about doing a castle within the rock. I don't know how to explain. And the whole thing was made like for protection. So you have beautiful views of the village, of the, of the outside, because then they could see when the enemies were approaching. And it's a pretty safe, not comfortable at all castle, but pretty safe one, because they could have views of everything and no one could penetrate it. The legend goes that Erazena of Prejama, a Slovenian Robin Hood of the 15th century, was the lord of this castle. He came into the castle after killing a relative of the Holy Roman Emperor, who swore vengeance, as well as aligning himself with the Hungarian king and attack villages under Habsburg protection. Erazen fled from the Holy Roman Emperor's vengeance in this castle, which what lacks in comfortability makes it up for security. The Emperor's army seized the castle to starve Erezen to death, but Erezen managed to survive more than one year of siege in this impregnable castle, receiving food supplies from the village through hidden tunnels in the caves underneath it. Also, to play with the Emperor's army, he would sometimes throw food at them to show off how their siege was worthless. He was then killed by a cannonball launched at him when using the toilet. Fair to say he did die sitting in the throne. One of his men betrayed him, informing the Emperor's army when he was in the toilet, who fired the cannonball, killing him and putting an end in this story. However, due to the many deaths that happened in the castle, some say it is haunted up to date. After visiting the castle, we rode 7 kilometers back to the cave, where we camped a night in a car parking for caravans. Just at the most spooky place we have ever visited, we had a night according to the moment. Very windy, raining all night and frightening silent. Again. Can you see my face? This difference? 
I think we're going up again.